nice to see you around. In today's video, I want us to look at what the Joe Biden presidency would mean for Africa. <laughs> Now, when we talk about the presidency of the United States, I know the first question we are going to ask is, why should we care who is president of the United States? Important as Africans that we care about who is president of the United States for some few reasons. Number one, we have trade that we do with the Americans. There is the Africa-American trade. Number two, America has been a partner with Africa in fighting wars on the continent. A lot of them. There's a lot of American soldiers and a lot of American equipments that has gone into fights in Africa where Africans are on each other throat politically. America has been a very, very big partner and ally, as they call them. Another reason which is also equally important is that the Americans have been very instrumental in the fight of pandemics in Africa. We know how instrumental they have been in the fight of Ebola in the DRC. They have been One other reason why Africans should care who is the president of the states is the U.S. Africa aid. There's a lot of aid, whether it's in food or in money or in medicine, in all sorts of things that come from the people of the United States in the name of U.S. aid that then comes to Africa for social aid. Under the presidency of Donald Trump, the relationships between Africa and the United, the United States has been at its lowest. I mean, Mr. Trump has got names that he calls African countries. If you see Mr. Pompeo come to Africa, it's because of their connection with Israel and what they are busy trying to achieve and push for in Israel. That's why he's been coming to Sudan or wherever he went. It was more about them than Africa. And I know international relations work that way. But Mr. Trump's presidency has been one that has characterized the worst relations between Africa and the United States. So then, what would a Biden presidency mean for Africa? Mr. Biden, I'm told, libelous so, he has an African war group an African policy work group that advises him on African policy. I'm told it's one of those historic moments that for the first time in American campaign trails for the United States presidency, Africa gets on the agenda. I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just that we don't know whether the advice they give him or not Will amount to something. In any case, the question is, what can Mr. Joe Biden, if elected as the President of the United States of America, do for Africa in terms of policy? There are few things that one can speculatively look at. Number one, he could pursue the policies that he found on the table. The policy as bad as it's been for Africa with the Trump presidency, he could pursue that. That's one alternative. Number two, he could resurrect the policies that the presidency of Obama had with Africa. He could resurrect that and push for compensative trade ties, increasing the volume of trade between Africa and the United States, developing youth leaders in, in Africa, 
uh, helping Africa with its urban, urbanization and so on. Because in any case, I'm told that the Americans are concerned about the population growth in Africa and what that could mean for the United States. You should know that in the next few years, Africa will be the youngest continent with the biggest number of young people in the world. So the Americans are concerned about that because they of future markets, future relations, and so on, immigration, and all sorts of things. So Mr. Biden could push that as an agenda to make sure that the relations with so without putting a lot of expectations on ourselves as Africans saying well the Joe Biden presidency will be very good for African relations remember the celebrations and anticipations we had over Mr. Barack Obama and he was elected by the people of the United States of America, so he has to serve them first before he would even look at Africans as much as he has roots in Africa. I guess it's going to be the same thing even with Mr. Joe Biden. There are so many pressing things that he has to fix in the United States thus if he becomes president, and so Africa will lag at the back. So, I think... As Africans, we must realize that our problems are African. They need African solutions. And so whoever is seated in Addis Ababa in the African Union should think of how to fix Darfur, should think of how to fix Mali, should think of how to fix the Sahel region, should think of the wars in the DRC, should think of the pandemics and the poverty and now the, the, the devastation we see because of COVID-19 in Africa and not necessarily have high hopes that somebody from somewhere who is president of the United States will come and fix Africa for us. I hope you enjoyed the video as I did. Please subscribe to always get provocative current affairs and analysis programs personal development, and all our features that come with this channel. I hope you leave comments contesting my ideas and views on what the Joe Biden presidency would mean for Africa, and also that you share this video and also like it, give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>